Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Mr. Hitler will find himself on the board. Huh? How did his name appear? How, how much was he worth before the privatization process? Mrs. Ms. Ms. Nawakwe was Minister of Finance under the MMD government. How did the government under the MMD regime allow for such a thing to happen? It's a simple issue. Why is this being brought up? We have heard Mr. Hichilema very loud calling the Patriotic Front ministers thieves. They're looting, they're thieving. We're going towards elections. People are looking at the political landscape. They either want to stay where they are or they want to shift. Should they decide to shift? Where are they shifting to? Why should they shift to you? Are you any better? Are you corrupt yourself? Or are you as clean as a white sheet? Privatization has come up. You have constantly told the Zambian people how the PF are doing this and they're doing that and doing that. What makes you any better? Mm. What have you done for this country in the past? We are looking at a position of accountability and credibility of the candidates that are going to appear on the ballot paper next year. We are dealing with issues to do with 48 houses right now. We're still asking. We are still probing. We're still questioning and we will continue to do that. We're still going to ask about fire tenders. We're still going to ask about anything else that doesn't make sense because we're living in an era of accountability. Mm. Each person needs to be accountable for their actions, whether they happened in 1964 or not. Fire tenders were bought in this country. Yes, they affected you and I as a taxpayer. Privatization, on the other hand, affected the whole country to this date. We are still affected by it. I'm not saying the other evil is better, but I'm looking at each and every single individual. You have been calling people thieves, they are looters, and they do this, and I'll be a better person, and I can do a better job. But if we look at your track record, Mr. Hichilema, what have you done for this country to get us to where we are today? Well, that is what we are asking. How did you amass your wealth? It's a very simple question. Nobody's trying to kill you. On your Facebook page, perhaps, do us a favor and maybe write a statement as to how much you are worth before privatization and all of that, as opposed to, you know, addressing everything else except the real question. And that is the real question. I think from there we can move on. Sun International, tell us how this happened. Excuse yourself from Ramcos. Do this. And I think that's all. That, and that's all. Nobody's trying to witch hunt. Um, Nobody's trying to make you see how many people bad. lost their jobs uh, during that time uh, Zamte was sort of upgrade. It's mm -hmm. depressing. And to see how much they have struggled to just get their terminal benefits and everything. That's the impact of privatization. Okay? And you take it all the way back to uh, the 90s. I know the people that were there uh, felt the, the, the impact of, of privatization and whatnot. But the question that we're asking today is a question of accountability. That uh, everybody else that was involved during that time, how and what role did you play? Yeah. Did you do things in the interest of you and your own family? Or did you put the interests of the nation first? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And that's for everyone involved. And, um, you know, there's this, there's this tendency of uh, trying to play victim. Uh, and I'll call it as it is. Um, when Mr. Hichilema is probed or asked, usually you will find that the UPND go into defense mode. You know, you find yourself being attacked on social media, insulted, being talked about, just because questions have been asked towards him. I think himself as a leader, that's something that he needs to condemn. One, condemn with the utmost distaste and just say, look, if things come to me and things, I'm asked about certain things, don't go into defense mode and start insulting people and posting people and character assassinating people. It's in bad taste. It makes the party look a certain way. It's a very simple thing. Once, if the UPND leader has asked something, let him just respond. Don't start saying, you are attacking him. You are trying to what? You are trying to... Question, you are trying to... Black. 
Why last we move it. We move on. So nobody is speak. nobody <laughs> is trying to find something wrong with him. We just want the answer. Answers, yeah. Either so we can have more faith in him and continue to love him, or we decide, okay, this is what you did. Maybe you're not the person for me. It's a very simple issue. And what, everybody has got that right. What a time to come out clean. Please. Exactly. What a time to come out clean. Uh, and, and I think, you know, Mtale, with what you're saying, with Zambia, I think uh, we let our politicians get away with a lot of things. And we yes. should. In opposition or in the ruling party. Yes. We let them get away with a lot we of do. things. They, this is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.